Hi, Daddy. What's happening? <laughs> you know what? What? I am officially, officially, officially a stay-at-home mom. Can you believe that? Raina actually quit her job. She oh no longer works. God. She's still doing her Zumba. I'm still Daddy, doing Zumba. Mommy, mommy. What? Wait for the new black kid. Oh yeah, that's right. Look. Well, I can't really focus it around that much. I'm not that good. Um, I'm gonna hold it. You're gonna hold it? Uh -huh. So Raina was working at Albertsons of all places. Yeah. She was a checker. <laughs> I was. Now I can actually admit that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared? Are you nervous? What are your thoughts of being a stay-at-home mom? Hmm. Let's see. My official thought. Oh, yes. I must get the dog because we have to bring Remy along with us because, unfortunately, we cannot leave him alone because we're going to Ciara's parents' house. Yay! So, being a stay-at-home mom, um, I don't really know what to say about it. It's like I'm scared because I've never, like not worked like a, a, an actual job that I have to be there for more than one hour. I don't know. I'm really kind of nervous about it. I'm super you're nervous, nervous about I'm it. You're nervous. I'm nervous. I'm the one that's going to make up what you're not making. Yeah, but it's not that much. <laughs> it was just actually something for me to get out the house more than Basically, basically we figured uh, that we were spending more money on babysitters than the actual income that Raina was making. And so we figure, you know, if we're able to do that, why not just have Raina stay at home? Um, and just have the money just recirculate into the family. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this will be good and the kids will love it. And Raina will be able to get all of her schoolwork done because she's got one year left of college. And uh, yeah. One more year! One more! I'm so excited. And I have a 4.0 GPA. I'm excited too because I miss my, my lady. <laughs> oh, I know I've technically been gone from you for like Raina's checked out years. from this relationship. I have. I have like not really checked out completely. Okay, I haven't checked out completely. I have just been kind of that in the wind. I sleep by myself. He does do that a lot because I'm out doing my homework at Until night. five, six in the morning. Yes, and then I sleep. And then I'm up by seven or eight because the kids are up. Yes, this is true. It's not fair. <laughs> it is not, but now I'm gonna be home. And I have and I have two months off from school. If you guys are single and you enjoy having nice stuff and clean stuff, don't ever get in a relationship and don't ever have kids because you will never have clean shit again. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever? Ever. Ever. No, ever. Not, me. <laughs> not me. Not you. Why? You're dirty too. You're dirty too. Dirty boy. Dirty, dirty. Hey, happy Father's Day, everybody. We are actually out here at my parents' house in Bonners Ferry, Idaho, just chilling. Got to come out here to uh, hang out with the folks, do a little barbecue action, get a little beer drinking on. Um, but man, it is quite the drive coming out here to visit them. It's a two hour drive, so I don't blame my parents when uh, they don't want to come to my house to babysit our kids because it is a drive. But, anyways, let's get this Father's Day started. Happy All right, we can't. Day. What? Happy Father's Day. That's right. Thank you, buddy. We can't spend Father's Day without my kids. We got the other one, you know, upstairs there. But what were you? What, what did you just notice on the grass? Huh? What did you just notice on the grass? Poop. Poop? Yes. Who's poop? Remy. Remy's poop on the grass? What? Yeah. Is it gross? What color is it? Remy, Remy, Remy. Remy. Yellow. Yellow. We got Nana up there. Hey. Drinking and holding my baby. What an alcoholic. Father's Day. I felt you. <laughs> you're, you're not slick. <laughs> All right, so this Father's Day has been pretty chill, man. And just sitting back thinking about Father's Days and fathers, man. I want to know what, what are your guys' best memories of your father? Oh, hold on, we got a train coming. Is there a train? Yeah. Don't jump! Don't do it, dude. Woo, there it is. Look at it. All 
right, so we uh, are venturing off on a little hike, a little walk here, and uh, Kaden loves choo-choo trains, and there's a choo-choo train going on by there. Come on, dude, hey, get over here. <laughs> you ain't jumping. Come on, get over here. So little Mr. Kaden and I, we got bored, so we thought we would go on an adventure, huh, dude? Yeah. We're going, hey, stop picking your nose, silly. But anyways, this has been a fun Father's Day, man. We have just been hanging out with my pops and my mom and my sister and my kids, and it just makes me... Uh, you know, think of all the fun times that I've had with my dad. Um, I mean, I, I can think back of awesome times floating down the Sacramento River with my dad. That was just so much fun for me. I remember playing catch out in the street, playing baseball. Um, man, I just have so many great memories uh, that I got to spend with my dad. And uh, what's your guys' best memories that you have with your dad? I mean, it, it's I think it's great that we're still able to all hang out. I'm glad that I'm living up here in uh, Washington so that I'm a little bit closer to my folks now because I spent so much time down in L.A. It's it, You know, it was hard, you know, being together for nice celebrations and events and holidays and stuff like that with them and by golly this kid is just taking off he is so hyper where are you going anyways guys i hope everyone's having an awesome amazing father's day for all you fathers out there and uh, like i said comment down below what's your best memory that you spent with your pops hey, where are you going what do you want to do come here come here come here come here stop 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 whoa you're gonna fall off that cliff there buddy why why because it's very slick Grab my hand, dude. <laughs> Where you wanna go? I wanna go to the high school. I wanna go up here. We going on an adventure? Yeah. That's kind of a trip being out here on Bonner's Ferry, Idaho. There's really not much out here. Hey, get over here, dude! There is not much to this town, I swear to God. <laughs> Bonner's Ferry is beautiful, as you can see. I got the river right behind us. Back over there, there's a casino. Um, but <laughs> if you blink while you're driving, you will miss this town. That's how big it is. Oh, look who, who decided to join the, the vlog here. I wanted to join earlier. What's this? What's what? What's this? Oh, a belated birthday card to my mom and my father's Father's Day card. And, and today's actually the day after Father's Day. Shut up. I'm a very, very, very busy woman. She is. She is. <laughs> but uh, Denise and, and, and Howard, yes, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're coming. They're in the mail, okay? I actually sent these a long time ago, but apparently <laughs> they didn't get them. And what pissed me off the most is that I usually get a receipt. I usually keep my receipt. And, and on, <laughs> on top of it, I had put a $25 gift card into it, and I normally get insurance on it. And, of course, I didn't do either one of those because every time I do insurance... And nothing ever happened. So the one time I don't, apparently it didn't Aren't get those delivered. Pretty? Look at that. Oh. Stop ignoring me. My mom and dad's house is so cute. They live out in the boonies. They got a little country house. I mean, dude, can you see all this? They got woods, pine trees, and all that stuff in the background there. They live in the middle of nowhere. Entryway right there. Yes, look at that. Oh, a little you picket know, fence. You know what would be really cute? Everything right there. You know what would be awesome about this place? What? Is if you ever decide to marry me, this would be a great place to have a wedding. This is too tiny. We don't have that We're many friends. We're in the friends. middle of nowhere. You swear we have that many friends. We're in the middle of nowhere. Jeez. Well, we, Bonner's Ferry, up. Idaho. Guys, do your research. Look up this location. Oh, is this a pear tree? Um, no, that, that is a pear tree. And there's a plum tree back there. And there's a cherry tree and over a here. Oh, and a pear tree. Oh, look. We got a little tree. garden over there. Oh. And Caden got to help with that garden one time. Mm hmm. Brandon was so scared the very first time that we ever came out here before we actually moved to Washington. She was terrified. Stop looking! <laughs> That's protein. Remy's licking the post that uh, Snickers had already peed on. Mm, delicious. Say what up, dude. Say what's up. What up? I got my dirt truck. Yeah, you do. The bar was dirty. You're dirty like you. The bar moves. Let's go get some lunch. <laughs> We are out taking a little nature walk with Mumsy and the baby in the small little town known as Bonner's Ferry. I still have no clue why my parents moved to Bonner's Ferry? Why? 
Good question. Cheap house. Cheap house, 100 miles away from anything, man. Pretty little town. But when they own their shop in Sandpoint, Idaho, they would still have to do a, what, 45 minute hour drive? It was, it was a 34 mile, 40 minute drive. 34 miles. Crazy. 40 minutes. No, thank you. And this is like big Amish country right out here. Mennonite. Mennonite. There's still horse and buggies out here. <laughs> and Kate and you are getting heavy. I gotta put him down. It's like 120 degrees out right now, and this little kid does not want to walk. It's only, it's only about 75. <laughs> it's hot as hell. Daddy once again driving us home from the folks' house. You have fun, Daddy. Yeah, can you tell? It's a, so much fun I had. Woo! Oh, yeah. So, yes, we're on our way home. And I was just telling CR how excited I am that I don't have to worry about getting dressed and running off to go to work. How amazing is that? It feels really good. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little wary about it because yeah, that little bit of extra money that I was getting from working there was all right. I mean, it, it was supposed to be spending money in my pocket or you know like I would take for us to go shopping and do like the grocery shopping with but in all reality I was taking that check and giving it to somebody else as a paid you know for babysitting and stuff it was kind of pointless and the money that CR would kit would spend extra into it was the same thing so not worth it <laughs> but it's so nice to just sit here and enjoy my family and enjoy being with the in-laws and you know it's it's just really fun I absolutely love it and I can not have to worry about my homework I can do it and get it done whenever I want to but right now I don't need to because I'm up for two months yay I'm having so much fun yeah, what are you whoa what are you doing dude whoa in a hurry I guess so idiots silly drivers silly drivers <laughs> Kaden has been possessed or something like that he keeps going Darth Vader costume. <laughs> yeah, he had a little lung problem. Or apparently, little man is sick. Here, get yourself there. No. Tell, tell the story. No. So apparently, Brennan's Bren been having some kind of chest issues going on ever since probably about a week since he's been born. And it just seems to be getting worse. And so he's been crying and getting fussy a lot. So we took him to the doctor. What did the doctor say he had? Um, he, they just figured that he had something, some kind of weird congestion, and they ended up saying that he needs an inhalant like this. So now we, they hooked us up with this fancy bong, and uh, we're getting the kid <laughs> high right now. Um, yeah, it's Washington, it's legal here, so they, they figured that the medical marijuana will help fine. him with his chest. But now he has to uh, do this, I guess. Uh, three times a day. Three times a day, help with his respiratory system break up whatever's inside his chest. And he's got an ear infection too. Yeah, his TV has got an ear infection. <laughs> so poor little guy, he's got to do this for a while. This guy's all messed up. I'm kind of getting high off the vapors here because it's kind of leaking. You're such a dork. Look at those eyes though. <laughs> I'm cute. I mean, he still was really happy the entire time. Huh, we're we got We got a it's sick baby. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Aww. But give us your prayers, that little man heals fast. We don't like him being sick. I know. He's been having this my chest thing for way too long. He's got a crazy cough. But he's so. always happy, and it's like it doesn't bother or faze him. But yeah, the doctor was just kind of like he wanted to see him again in a week, just in case. One for the ear infection, and two to see some good how weed, buddy. Working. <laughs> oh my God, you're such a horrible person. You're so bad.
Alrighty, kids, so we are back home, obviously, and uh, we're just wrapping things up here. Uh, man, we had a blast. Father's Day was a good time. It was good going out to my parents' house, celebrating with my pops, being a pops, and all that good stuff, so we had a good time. Little man, he is getting better. Like I said, he's got to use that uh, nebulizer, man, to break up whatever's in his chest, so it looks a lot worse than it actually is, but he is doing a-okay. Sister's going to be back in a couple days. She's actually out there with my parents still, um, but yes, man, things are going good. I'm glad I was able to get an footage here to put together this long vlog for you guys so i hope you enjoyed it um also you know what as a little added bonus footage here i'm going to put a link to a prank it's not really an angry love prank but uh at work here we uh we uh pranked a buddy my boss went out and he unplugged my co-worker's battery from his car and my co-worker really doesn't know squat about cars he <laughs> <laughs> You'll just have to watch this video. So if you guys want to see a little extra footage of a prank of just, uh, you know, me and my employees just messing around, click the link here. I'll also put it down in the description there. Uh, like I said, it's not angry love material, but uh, it'll give you a good chuckle. Anyways, guys, I am wrapping up. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody had an amazing Father's Day. And uh, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you tune in for the next vlog. And as always, word to your monkey.